first question, could you tell me a little bit about your type of home ownership? Are you an owner or renter? Uh, my wife and I own a house built in 1940 that we have been here since December of 99 and two kids and two dogs. All right, could you tell me a little bit about more about the structure? Is it a single family detached home or yeah. a multi-unit? It is a single family detached with brick. One story, two story? Uh, two story. All right. Have you always lived in this area? No, I grew up in Augusta and lived in Athens, Georgia, and also lived in Greenwood, South Carolina. All right. How did your family end up here? That's when we graduated from the University of Georgia. We got a job with International Paper and moved here. And have been here since 98. That's really interesting. Um, so you've told me it's a brick home. Uh, what type of roof? Uh, shingled roof. All right. Have you um, ever, or do you have rooftop solar for your home? We do not. Okay. Um, tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? No, nobody has ever uh, really approached us, but I'm not sure that it's economically feasible. All right. If you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? I would for the uh, if it benefited us. Okay. So mainly for the monetary benefits or environmental? What yeah, probably of? both, monetary and environmental. Okay. Are there any concerns you have about rooftop solar on your home? I do not. All right. Well, thinking more broadly about rooftop adoption or rooftop solar adoption in general, I'm going to show you a map of the United States. Would you please circle the area in the United States where you think there would be the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? All right. You circled Northern California. What or makes all of California? Or all of California? Okay. What makes that community so different from our community? Um, I think more of a push towards the uh, green environment. Okay. And uh, less uh, cloud cover, more sunshine too, okay. which I would probably believe about maybe Nevada also. Okay, so and out, out in the west. All right. So in the western side. Yes. Um, so geographically, you mentioned sunshine, and then the people's their perception. Maybe you mentioned a little about might be more into a green living. Yes. All right. You're now adding Florida to the map. Right. The sunshine state, as they call it. All right. So. The lots of sunshine geographically, is there anything about those people in Florida that leads you to believe they would be more apt to choose solar? No, just be in the sunshine state. Okay. Now let's talk about our state, Georgia, and I've got a map of it. Is there a certain um, area where you think this in the state of Georgia that more rooftop solar is used or on people's homes? I would not, but I know that there are solar farms popping up everywhere. There are. I, I see some of those even in our area. Um, is there no, There's nowhere on the map you would consider maybe people would be more likely? Um, maybe down around the coast, I would think you'd hit some solar. Okay. Anything about that community that's very different leading you to think that? No, just something about being on the coast. I don't know if Atlanta would have a bunch of uh, solar popping up. You would think being in a larger city that they would uh, be pushing that. There'd be some kind of subsidies. Okay. Yeah, there might be some sort of um, benefits financially for them and being in, in a crowded area. That could be true. All right, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do you know anyone that has solar on their roof? I do not. All right, why do you think we don't know anybody? I don't 
know. You remember uh, some family members that worked with Georgia Power just said that it was not quite feasible yet. 